this sign says above the door, this wall was begun the 4th of June and Finf... The 13th of December, 1711. What that was trying to say is that this gate was built in 1711. Welcome to Ebbs Historical World and today we are here at Portsmouth Historic Dockyard and right over there you can see HMS Warrior built in 1860. It was one of the earlier steam powered warships as you can see it almost looks just like London 17th century that 17th and 18th century that wasn't steam powered you can see it's massive anchor you can see the figurehead at the front We'll be going on that later. Yeah. Oh. How thick that is. That is thick. Can you see how thick it is? Yeah. Yeah. But here we are, we're going into HMS Warrior first. Look how massive the anchors are. Many people were needed to lift the anchors. That figurehead looks cool. Look at all the rigging. Yeah, people have to climb up there, even if it's windy. <laughs> I know, no harness, no nothing. <laughs> but when was the last time you were on HMS Warrior? It, well, last time I was, it was like six years ago. This is super long. Right, so years ago you wouldn't get on board this way, would you? No. You'd go up the steps with a beer It's very windy and steep. Bits are under wraps. Dexter, so get fixed or whatever it is. Look how tall the masts are. All made of metal. All the cannons. Look how thick the ropes are. All to hold it up. Most people look people having to go up on the deck in. Up on the rigging from the deck. Yeah. I mean, Do you not climb the ladder? Yeah, I wouldn't climb up there. You'd be in the sea, it'd be doing this, Ed. Yeah. And plus just how high that is anyway. Look how huge the lifeboats are. These lifeboats are massive. Scaffolding in progress. So we can't go to the front. It's a shame we can't go to the front, but it's all getting fixed, so maybe next time we come, it will all be fixed. Now, why do we get down into the boat? Because... He's like all the sabres and that. Right, so where are we? That is a huge cannon. 
Yeah, so the master had that in his um that's in his room, isn't it? Yeah. You have a cannon in there as well. Yeah. Again, so hey? Captain Steward would live in there. Yeah. Whose room would this be? This would be like the captain's office. Uh, I know in HMS Victory, um we're going there in a bit, but what they do is they'd it'd be like captain's office but during battle they bring all of the furniture down below so that um, there's then extra gun room. Dad, I think this is where the captain lives. Look. Yeah, that's his, his, his bed looks like so a mini what boat. If he died, what happened? Would he be putting that in it? Yeah, would be look, thrown to sea. It is. It's like a wooden cot and it double up as his coffin as well. This is where they do all their writings and that. OP Master's office. So. That's where all the guns are. Right. Muskets. Yeah, rifles and muskets. Oh, yeah. And these would be bayonets as well, The ship works, yeah? Yeah. Or more sabers. The cannons... The cannons inside the ship are a lot bigger than the ones outside the ship. The HMS Warrior. Wow. Oh, is this like the officer's toilet? This looks like the officer's toilet. Dad. Sorry? It looks like the officer's toilet. Yeah. I think the captain will have his own one. Yeah, maybe. Did you see the camera as well? How? He's where all the cannons are. And then over that side, they've got the hammocks for the crew. I've actually been in one of okay. those hammocks so before. So you see there that they, they eat and slept in this station. This is where they were yeah. in the position of one place. And they ate here and they slept here because they'd hang their hammocks up, wouldn't they? Yeah, but, have, but I've, but, gun, but I've lied in one of the hammocks. But when, but when they'd be here, would it be like, this is where you'd spend your day? It's like... Sleep because your hammocks would be up there. Eat. Yeah, you'd sleep and, and you'd just eat. be doing the cannons all day. So you'd sleep and you'd eat. Sleep and eat, but you wouldn't be doing cannons all day long. Look, all no. Somebody else has had it. Yeah. But because but you you could, well. yeah, you could be down in the engine room because this is a steamship. Because this is a steamship, you might be down in the engine room. Oh, is this what they stuff down the cannons? This is what they stuff down the cannons, right? To like put the yeah, so you have things to like ram room. home the cannonball, uh, and that's, that's to like unblock it. Wouldn't that be like to clear out all the crud yeah. afterwards, wouldn't it? And you have buckets of water and sand yeah. and yeah. And it's just like that, but it's just all repeated along here. Look, that's where you keep your plates. In there. Where you keep your plates? In there. They always join the Navy. If you join the yeah. Navy, you'd get three square meals a day. Do you know the square meals? Why well, they had square meals? No. Because you have square plates. Easy to stack on a ship that moves around. 
Oh, so is yeah. this somebody's hammock all rolled up? Could be. So you sleep in there, in the hammock, and then yeah. when you've finished each day, you don't leave it up throughout the day, you don't have a scruffy room. You then take it down, wrap it up. Now, I know like on um, Victory, we'll have to see here, they used on Victory, take these up and put on the side in the netting, because then it's extra sort of like... Yeah. You know, it's out of the way, it's stored, and not just that, it was, uh, if you come under attack, it's extra sort of um, yeah. defence, wasn't it? Look. And look at these cannons, how do you carry cannonballs around? Don't you like roll them around? You can't go roll them around, I might squash those. For like... That's someone's parrot. Yeah. So what is this here? What would this bit be? Pigeon. Yeah, what is this part? Um, would this be the kitchen? Yeah, this would be where they prepared all the meals. Yeah. Here, got loads of tin bowls and They've got to clean and wash it up and everything. Yeah. yeah. It's alright, like now, it's all nice and. Look, this is where all the cannonballs are. Is this how they carried the cannonballs? In buckets or. Oh, I don't know, I'd imagine the buckets. Did, 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 oh, yeah, true. Oh, look. Not. Oh yeah, I know how to do this one. It's a reef knot. Yeah. So this is making all different knots. So this one's reef knot. I know how to do that one. That scout. There's bowline knot and then figure of eight. Down there is like where the engine room is. What is through there? More cannons! Look at the size of these chains. They're massive. And this rope. What's the rope work on that? Are these for people or giants? Down we go to the end. So this is where technically people slept if they weren't like the I'm average sure person. Say, yeah. yeah. So, so it's so this one. Like a carpenter? Yeah, it's a carpenter. This is his room. And next door is the boat store. I'd sleep in that bed, that looks nice. Yeah, it's cosy. Oh, look. So I wonder what they would have been reading at the time. So this yeah. is the engineer's, engineer's mess. mess. So, so the engineers would come sleep and live and eat in here. Because you're an engineer? Oh, that would be how um, like the thing works. What thing? The propeller? Yeah, the propeller. It's like the rudder, the propeller, it would push the water, but because it's hitting the rudder, it makes it go that way. So it would go that way. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's under these? Uh, different stuff. They would have had their own area for storing stuff, probably. Yeah. Let's face it, there's not a lot of room. No room for wardrobes and cupboards and things, is it? So these are their beds, and they would have moved around so you get sleep. Do you want to sleep in a cast iron bed? Or raw iron? As long as I don't bang my head. Well, you might do, you might look, stupid, look at the size of this book. Yeah, what book is that then? Does it say? I have no idea. This isn't proper stew, you can touch it, yeah. You can touch the stew without getting messy hands. And I'm guessing that's a sink. 
Oh, is this all like the medicine? Could be, yeah. What's that say? Yeah. Like cinnamon and sugar. We haven't been down the other way, have we? Down that side should be the engine room, right? Down that one, don't you? Yeah, let's go around then. <laughs> Who would sleep in here? Well, have a guess. Who would be there? No, somebody that's like under arrest in it for something. Oh yeah. They've been naughty, they've been put in here. Wait, you, you, you know what the strange thing is? What's that? Is that the people who are under arrest, they're lucky enough to get their own room. Whereas if you're an average sailor, you have all to right, sleep right, in start a again. Up. You wouldn't have electricity, look how dark it is. You've got no sort of daylight. Oh yeah. Um, it wouldn't be this bright, it wouldn't be this nice. Also, you're locked in there. So, the, so they get sails or something, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not the best place, it'd be smelly and all sorts. It does smell. So, yeah, so this is where somebody comes and repairs the sails. Yeah. It's not down in the dark. Look how thick, here you go, look. Yeah. Oh, this bit, look. And your wood in between. So there's a wooden ship that's clad in iron. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. These more cannonballs. Now down there's the engine room. And this is where they do washing. What is this? Well, it's like a fin off a propeller, isn't it? Yeah. It wouldn't be there. If you're There's the engineer, the you're lucky enough to have a bath. Yeah, look at these little bangles. Yeah. All the, all the washing. Yep. Does anybody else has a bathroom? Yep. But there's three of them. Because that's basically stinky and hot and dusty. Yeah. So these are people's own belongings or? Is this yeah. Where, this must be where they can store their... Stuff. Their bed, their hammocks and everything. And their clothes. This must be their belongings, they're like lockers sort of thing. Yeah, they have yeah. your, own, your own lock, your own cupboard or whatever. This is what they get. Very compact. A helmet diving so, suit. You've got the Marines, the white straps upstairs just for the light infantry. So I believe there's around more muskets and rifles and the bayonets. Look, this is diving so dry now. Yeah. And this, I think, was the thing they used to turn to pump air to him. So that's not enough for all of Why did they have like helmet divers on like HMS Warrior and that? Maybe we go down, fix, repair, yeah. do stuff. Chronometer closet. Do you know what that is? I know where it is, but I forgot where it is. 
guessing this will do, yeah. Obviously, it says compasses and chronometer, so it's all like clocks and things, mm -hmm. potentially, isn't it? Yeah, anything that's clockwork and magnetic. Musical instruments, trumpets. Oh, Dad, is that there for like doing the national anthem? Like Whatever when you're going you, out to battle? You'd have a band, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Look how this door closes, though. Mm. It goes sideways. Yeah, that would turn, and the cogs like make it go mm. sideways. Look at those mm -hmm. wheels. Oh, is this the issuing room? Oh, is this where, like, they give people, like, their daily amount of peas, rice, raisins... Must be. Soap, oatmeal... Soap. It's got to all be equal. Oh, some sailors. Is in that, that's a gun room. Yes, this would be the rooms that is in down here. Yeah, gun room pantry, surgeon. clerk's office, a surgeon. We were back at the other end of the yeah. ship, aren't we? So above There's us, it's like, in there. yeah, it's, it's like the officers and that, isn't it? So this is obviously all to do with the gun room. So it's all to do with the officers, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. If we go down one more floor, we go down to the engine room. The, oh, paymaster, third lieutenant, fifth lieutenant. Well, it's for the officers, isn't it? Yeah. Is this where the captain and his friends have dinner? Yeah. The captain might be able to sit down here, mate. This might just be just the, some of the officers. Yeah. He'd be upstairs with his chosen food. Fourth lieutenant, second lieutenant, first lieutenant. That's really cool. Not and really chief beds, engineer. Not very big beds. No, but after all, it is only one person. Yeah. <coughs> we need to go back to some stairs where we can go down again. Here we can go down. Mind your head. Definitely. So now. Ooh. What's down there? Well. Powder magazine. Yeah, so this is now everything you need to make your um, cameras go bang. And yeah. And you find that lights, like this one, so yeah. that would have been a certain room. You get, obviously that wall's been taken off. You go through that door so you can load up and do your powder. And your lights are outside. Why are your lights, your candle lights, outside? Because if they're inside, it could light the gunpowder. Exactly. And therefore, you only want the gunpowder to go boom when it comes out of the cannon, not when it's not even put in the cannon. How noisy would this get me? It would be. Super. Now, this is a Can't steamship, be. so yeah, look, that's why it's got massive Greenwich. But here you can see like um, the hull of the ship. Man, this is awesome. All these pistons and generators and furnaces. This is what it's like in a 19th century steamship. Steep stairs. 
chugging in. Engines. Almost everything's industrial and metal. So these would be all the furnaces. Oh, it's where they burn all the coal. Because this it's furnaces. The, obviously, ignore the radiator. That's a modern thing. Yeah, that's modern. But yeah, this is where everybody would be. It'd be, oh, loads of men in here shoveling coal yeah. into the furnaces. But to keep giving the power, you're trying to keep the steamship flowing. It is it. Forward. So, how much steam are you going to need? You see, see what's like the train? The train is just like one of these, don't they? Yeah, one cylinder tank boiling. Look at these. I know, but here's the thing. Like, when you've got a ship almost entirely made out of metal, what do you need so much power to keep it afloat? It'd be noisy in that way. I have a question. When was the last time something like this worked? Like, when was the last time HMS Warrior sailed out to sea? Has it ever been in a battle, HMS Warrior? Look, you can see the hole. Because it might have been one of those ships where it's like... It was made, but never needed. Yeah. It was made for battle to go to, like, its enemies and go, like, ooh, we've got a big scary ship, but they actually never used it in the battle. Yep. Is that cool? That was cool. Yeah, we can.